Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name's Teresa and I'm the Card Boot Crafter. I'm coming on with a cute little decoration idea for Valentine's Day. Um, so let's crack on and show you how I've made them. So this has been around for a very, very long time. You've probably seen other videos about it, but this is my take on it. So I'm using um, these papers that you can get from Poundland, I think it was picked up two or three of them uh, really useful little um scraps of card they are um four by six inches so all i've done is i've taken one from each of the colors in there and i've cut them down lengthwise into one inch strips like that and i can get four strips out of each one sheet of that so i've taken the five and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to now layer them up so i've got my one inch by six inch strips and you if you're using different papers a4 papers you can make these as big as you like or as small as you like um, but these are the size that i quite like um, so what i do is i'm going to use my mat now to do the, the next bit so what I do is I take my strips and I then place them on the mat um, and I've got that sort of on that border line there. Oh gosh, my mat does need a wipe over, doesn't it? <laughs> um, so I've got it lined up there. Then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to line it up half an inch down like that. And you can do it like this or you can just do it by eye. It's entirely up to you. This is just the way that I do it. So once I've got that one and then press the next one down and I'm using multi. This is like a rainbow effect on this, but um, you can do it all one color. In fact, I've got some waiting to show you they're all one color. Um, so and then the next one and then the last one. So it's not an exact science, it's just, you know, approximately half an inch gaps between them all. So I've got them like that. I'm going to flip them over and I'm just going to cut them off like that. So that I've got one that is the full six inches. And I think it works out now that, that this one is six inches, this one is five and a half, this one is five, this one is four and a half. And this one is four inches in length. So if you wanted to do it all on the um, the trimmer, you can do it like that. So once you've got to that, you're then going to lay them down and glue one end. So I'm going to grab my glue and I'll show you what I mean. So starting with the biggest one, which is my red one, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the first half an inch like that. And then I'm going to take my next biggest one, which is my orange one, and I'm going to lay that down on top like that. Line it up nice and straight. And then do the next one. So more glue on the first half inch. I've seen these done with um, staples and staplers. So if you prefer that way, you can just get your stapler, pop them all together in the same way and then just staple all the one end so i like the um the wet glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle time so you can pop them all together and get them nice and straight and then i'm going to put my yellow one on top of this one so the first half an inch and again i can use my board so that i don't go over the half inch mark my yellow one I'm going to pop that down on top make sure that's nice and straight and then the last one my green one I'm going to pop that one on the top and then just leave it to one side to dry to dry um, I'm not going to because I want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to attempt to do it all before this dries. So grabbing my glue again, 
I'm then going to put another um, half inch of glue and then taking this one I'm going to bend it over without folding it line that up pinch that in place so the glue grabs it so I've got a little curl like that happening <clears throat> and then I'm going to grab the next one and do the same again I'm going to do it with all of them because these are all um, in ascending sizes then it's not going to be a problem bringing that over as you can see there's that little bit of a gap there so that I can bring that over nice and easy and then move on to the next one putting about half an inch <clears throat> no wider than half an inch at least worth of glue bring that over press that into place making sure it's all nice and straight and move on to the next one I would normally pop that down and leave it to dry um, before moving on to this stage just because it makes it a lot easier so you can see they're all bending over nice and easily and then we've got the last one which is my red outer one bring that over and as you can see you've got all your um, strips all nicely bent around that and then I just grab one of these little pegs and pop it in place and that's enough to hold it all until it dries so let me show you I'll show you again so that's one so you do want this is this one is all in red I thought I'd do some of them in red for Valentine's so this is how I'd normally do it so this is all dry that end so <clears throat> again I'm just going to put some glue there and bring that over line it all it's so much easier when you've got the half already dry because you only have to concentrate on the, the half that you're bringing over like that and one more now I do it in five clusters of five strips on these you can do them as many strips as you like um, but do bear in mind that if you go much smaller um, than the um, the last one which was six five and a half five four and a half four which is four inches you will get a, a little less curl on it as you bring it over I don't think I would go any less than three and a half maybe on this um, but I would certainly go bigger if I had um, you know if I was using a4 paper for example you could make some nice um, big sized ones to go in the window or something so those that's those two done so let me show you so this is the one I started off with and this is one in true blue Peter style I'd already done so as you can see it's nice rainbow colors so that should be <clears throat> well not dry but grabbed anyway so what you now do is you get your glue again and you glue now all the way up until that starts to bend away from you so this is all the way up don't go any further than about there where it starts to bend back down so put some glue all the way along like that do the edges as well it just helps with the bonding and once you've done that you're going to take two of them and you're going to put them together like that and that then forms a heart isn't that cute now before I get to that stage because I'm going to hang it up so you can do them standalone like that or as I'm doing you can hang them onto some string like that so if I bring my string in and this is just some um, well it's thicker than uh, Baker's twine um, so and it's a, like a paper feel 
So I'm going to pop a little bit more glue on the other side as well so that I can really um, kind of capture the, the twine between the two. Pop a bit more on there because that's grabbed over there. So as you can see this is already captured in the middle of that one so I'm going to pull it down. I think I'm going to have it about six inches so there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's my six inch mark, so I'm going to go above that. Let's, if I put my scissors on there, I can pull that a bit tighter and then push them together. There's my six inch mark here. Pinch that together like that. And I've got one of these, which I picked up from the works years and years ago. Haven't seen them in there since, unfortunately. But um, if you've got, you can use, a, you know, a regular pen or peg, sorry, or anything like that. And then just leave that to dry. And what will happen is, because you've got that pinched there, the top part is pushed together as well, where we put the extra glue here. So that should um, bond quite nicely there so let me show you again so I'm going to move that down remember I want this about every six inches so I'll unwind that I've got my two red ones that should be dry now so if I stand that there I'm going to pop that on there to hold it steady so one two three four five there's my six six inch mark so i'm going to line those up there like that <clears throat> and i'm going to grab my glue and i'm going to put a good amount of glue all the way on the this side that rises up but before it falls away i'm going to stop i'm going to make sure i've got all those edges as well a little bit down the middle because that's where I'm capturing the the string. I'm going to do the same with this one. Good amount of glue down both sides. And pop that back down. So I've got my glue facing each other. There's my six inch mark. Or what, six inches away from there. Pull that tight and then I'm going to pinch it together. Hope you can see pinching it together like that, making sure I've got my string caught between the two pieces of the heart that I've just made. And there we go, captured it like that. I haven't got another one of those clips, so I'm going to use an ordinary peg. In fact, I'm going to use two, one either side of the string like that. Make sure it's fully captured. And there we have, let's pull that away. There we have my, or the beginnings, should I say, of my uh, Valentine's Day um, decoration. If I take that off, you can see how well it's doing. I'm leaving those pegs on for now. So, yeah, you could do it all red if you wanted or rainbow coloured like I've done here. Um, the rainbow coloured I've gone with because, um, although I've got the one red, I've gone with the rainbow coloured because I'm going to keep this. So after Valentine's Day, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to use it for birthday parties because I think all that time and effort... I can definitely use for uh, other sorts of celebrations. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to carry on doing these. I think I might do about three or four of them. That I can. We've got a glass door downstairs that I can hang on the glass door, maybe even the one in the porch, um, and have those as a, a nice um, Valentine's Day um, decoration. Anyway, 
I hope you're gonna have a go at them I think they're really cute they're so simple as well um, very very simple to make and uh, I'll see you in the next one take care bye for now